Hi everyone, this is Irina bringing you the Supply Chain Minute this week from Supply Chain TV. Um, let's go back to a discussion that we touched based on a couple of weeks ago regarding uh, relocalizing the supply chain. So, um, you know, when we think of that, does that mean maybe more manufacturing or more assembly closer to the consumer? Um, you know, integrating more um, U.S. suppliers and manufacturers within the supply chain. Um, it may mean different things to different organizations. However, it's something that we're actively seeing happening, um, whether that be because organizations are looking at more, um, you know, diverse risk management strategies within their supply chains and uh, potentially potentially mitigating some of that risk of depending um, solely on one supplier on one region of the world. Uh, but we're also seeing a little bit of demand from consumers for more made in the United States uh, products, which is also something that we mentioned in an earlier episode. Um, so today I actually wanted to discuss uh, maybe some of the different nuances of what's, uh, what does it mean to look for a supplier in the United States and to really build a relationship uh, with somebody that's closer to uh, maybe to your headquarters or to your business um, and somebody that you can visit more often and have a different contact with than uh, what we're usually used to with our overseas suppliers. Um, and so one of the main things that we need to keep in mind is that it may cost um, differently um, to have a U.S. supplier than to have a supplier overseas. Um, and those costs may manifest themselves differently. Um, there may be different requirements for investments or just a simple cost per unit might be a little bit higher than what we're used to. And so that's a little bit tough for supply chain people because we're very much focused on efficiency and cost. Um, and cost and keeping those low. And so I just think that there's a different um, conversation that we need to have now. And instead of looking at a supplier that can bring down costs as much as possible, we need to look at suppliers that will be aligned with us for the long term. So um, who can we build an alignment strategy with? Who can we align with so that we have competitive advantage in a specific in our specific area. Um, those are the type of things that we should think about now um, in terms of the changes that we're looking to make in our supply chains. I'm looking forward to your comments and uh, more to come next week. Thanks, guys.